Okay, I'm back at it again, showing you how to make a dessert version of the Vietnamese bun thick. So, here are the ingredients that you need. Um, the pendant leaves, you can get that at any uh, Vietnamese grocery market. You can use like as many as you want. If you want a deeper color, you can use more leaves. So, it comes like this. Pendant leaves, uh, one can of coconut milk. I used two ripe bananas, three teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vodka, just to give that red color for the banana, and then half a bag of the glutinous rice. That's like one kilogram of glutinous rice. And here's how I put it all together. Stay tuned. Do -do. Plus the uh, mung beans too that I cooked earlier. I already showed you from the previous video how to make it, so I don't need to go through it again. Here is the mung bean that's already cooked. Okay, so two tomato, uh, two bananas I cut into halves, and in the salt, add in the sugar. Vodka. Stir it up and let it sit for 30 to 1 hour. Let it marinate. Okay, so to press, uh, prep for the uh, pendant leaves, I have the leaves clean up, put in the blender, add in a cup of water. Close it for mommy. Nicely blended. Okay, once it's all blended, I have a bowl here with the cheesecloth, and I'll just pour all the uh, mixture in here. And then squeeze all the juice out to get the um, green liquid. And then you can combine it together with the uh, rice. So this is what you have, and then I will cook the rice with this. Okay, so in the uh, wok here, I will add in one can of coconut milk. One cup of the pendant leaves mixture. the glutinous rice turn the heat up to high stir it constantly for the mixture to absorb the liquid You know when it's done, when all the liquids are soaked into the rice. Wait, so... After 10 minutes of stirring, all the liquid is being absorbed into the rice. Look how pretty is the rice. Nice lavender color. Not lavender. Nice lime color. So pretty. It's 
smells like really good. Wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. So, it's consistently turning the rice so it's not gonna get burnt underneath it. And that's pretty much it. It's done. Turn off the heat. Let it sit, cool down the rice, and then you're ready to assemble it all together. Okay, here's how I put it all together. Get a saran wrap. Get some mung bean. Use a spatula, spread it out. Here's the bananas being marinated for 30 minutes. Put it right in the middle. Take the saran wrap, dye it. Roll it like this. There you go. One roll. Okay, have the rice flan out like a thin layer. Get one roll that we already pre wrapped. Put it right in the middle. Take the bottom, push it to the top. That's why you cook the rice ahead of time. It's so easy to mold into place. If you see like a tiny little gap, add more rice. And that's it. Now you will put it in onto the banana leaves and we're good to go. Okay, so I have here banana leaves. Put it down. Yeah. Like four sheet. Take one of the roll. Have a small string put underneath it. Tie it is a temporary tie. Okay, 
Okay, bend it down. Tap, tap. Push all the rice down. Okay, turn it over, bend it. This side, that side. There you go. We cut the thin strip of leaves, put it on top, and put the other one right on top like that. Take the elastic, secure it. It's just a sem uh, temporary secure. That's it. Turn it over. If the leaf is too long, cut it. Cut it off. Okay, same thing. Push this side down, push that side. Bend it down like this. Fold it over. And then take the leaf, one of the thin leaf, put it on top. Take the other one, place it on top. Elastic, temporary secure. See, like that. And then I have a long string right here. Have like a, like an inch right here. Push it down from the bottom, put it on top. Do a little twist. Go from the top to the bottom, go up here. Take the string, loop it around, and tighten it. Secure. There you go. And then the elastic, just cut it off. And the middle one, same thing, just cut it off. So now, you have the string, put your thumb right here. Take the string, push it down, put the thumb right here, going all the way around, loop it over. Make an adjustment, there you go, one string. Same thing, loop it around. Second one. If the string is getting short, add more. Okay, put your thumb down, lift it around. Adjust the string, make sure it's all evenly spaced. Okay, and then you go from the bottom, go underneath. Loop around. Tighten it. Okay. And from there, turn it into like a little loop, a handle, easier for you to carry it in and out from the uh, pot. There you go. Cut this off.
Okay, make any adjustment. And this is the finished product. There you go. So I finished wrapping. Here are the four rows that I did. Um, so I'm ready to cook it. I use the Instant Pot. Um, I line it with this metal frame underneath it. I'm going to add in the water. Just to fill up to the wrap. That's about it. You don't need to pour a lot of water. And then um, I'm just going to lay the, the rolls on the bottom like this. Each time I can only fit three since I have such a small Instant Pot. And once I'm done, I'm just going to lay it with the banana leaves. So I'm just going to put the banana leaves on top. So all the steam is going to trap inside. It's going to cook the sticky rice faster. So I'm just going to put it on top like this. And then close the lid. Okay, make sure the vents are locked. And I'm going to turn the Instant Pot on. Make sure to click Steam option. I'm going to set it for 1 hour and 30 minutes at the high pressure and it's a normal cooking rate. So it's automatic, it's on right now. So I'm pretty much done. Just let it wait for an hour and 30 minutes. I'll open it and let's see how it's, it's like. Okay, it's time. Let it air out. Let's see how it's inside. Okay, ooh, look at the steam. really hot okay so we made the handle so it's easy to just take it so rinse it with cold water and let it sit for an hour and it should be good to serve This is what I got after cutting it out. Look at the banana. Perfect red color with the monk beans right in the center. Sticky, soft, gooey, gooey goodness. And I made the uh, meat version with the pork belly. So, hope you guys try out this recipe. Take me if you can on social media and let me see. Okay, thank you. Have a great day, everybody.